Jay and Rich had decided that you know, they were getting older and they were starting to plan their, their trust and what was going to happen after they passed. And they, they both came to the same conclusion, which was, you know, we want to have an impact on, on human health. We want it to be here in West Michigan and reach out from West Michigan, have an economic impact here. They commissioned two separate groups uh, with the right place uh, and the Grand Action to say, what would it take for us to be a life science community? It was quite, a, quite depressing. They came back and said, there's three things you need to be a life science community by definition. Number one, you need a specialty hospital system. We didn't have one. Number two, you need to have a basic research institution. You need to do bench research, uh, and we didn't have it. And third, you need a medical school, and we didn't have it. So we were zero for three in what it took to, be the, to, to, to become that, yet the families said, we want to contribute in a way that, uh, that creates Grand Rapids as a life science community. That do, the challenge doesn't scare us. We want to fight through that. A little over $3 billion has been spent uh, has been, been invested by those families to create the environment we have here and the benefit that we have. There's a lot to learn in life sciences. Um, if you asked me a decade ago, uh, when I began working with the Van Allen Institute uh, about Grand Rapids and life sciences, I, I probably would have given us a, a grade of a C, that we were really great at what we did, but we didn't know what we didn't know. Uh, what we've learned since then in the past decade and how, grow how much growth we've had with Michigan State University, Spectrum Health, St. Mary's, Metro, the Van Allen Institute, and the thousands of collaborations around the, around the world that these institutions bring back to Grand Rapids. Uh, that's what makes it so exciting, because it's always new every day. If you go to one of the larger cities uh, that, you know, life science centers, uh, the institutions don't play nice-nice together. Uh, they see themselves as potential competition. Here in West Michigan, we don't see that at all. We really believe that all boats rise, and that's how we work together locally. We collaborate. We collaborate unabashedly, unapologetically, all over the world. We, like our colleagues here in, in the community, are reaching out all the time to bring the best scientific ideas back here and challenge our scientists to think bigger and wider. What Graham has done in the short time it's been around uh, has, is playing a, you know, an essential role in the global pandemic uh, in solving that, those problems. And the innovations and how the community as a whole will play roles uh, outside of Graham in the future in, uh, in life sciences and health sciences uh, is through the, you know, the bench work that Michigan State and, and Van Andel and Grand Valley State are doing and the innovation that's coming out of those engines right now. The Van Andel Institute is always asking the question of what's next. Nothing's ever settled. It's not, hey, we accomplished that, we're done. We could look back in the rearview mirror and continue moving forward. It's always the next question. What can we do better? What can we do differently? Uh, and that's the nature of science. Uh, the whole science inquiry uh, in learning, how people learn science, how scientists approach problems and problem solving uh, is something that's absolutely fascinating to me and will always unlock the next potential. So it's a great growth, growth engine for our, our community. The economic impact is, is pretty significant as I sit here at Graham. We're constantly mining the ideas that are coming out of the labs to find out what the economic impact may be. So we've licensed multiple technologies to organizations all around the world uh, to bring uh, new drugs, new diagnostics, new discoveries uh, to, to, the, to the world at large. And those will have an impact uh, financially back here to West Michigan and help us grow uh, as a community, which is something that the, actually the Grand Rapids Four founders thought about long and hard as they created this uh, Life Science Center here. So that doesn't happen anyplace else. No, it sure doesn't. Jeez. West Michigan is special. It is a special place. It's very special. Special place.